Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today we are going to talk about the IBBI grade A exam. So IBBI was set up under the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code 2016 on 1st of October 2016. It is a unique regulator that regulates the professionals as well as the transactions. So the last day to apply for this exam is 14th of March 2018. The maximum age limit for general category students is 28 years. So if you are 28 plus on 1st of March 2018, then you can, you know, close this video and watch something else. So the qualifications as on 1st of March 2018 required are either CA, CS, CMA, LLB, MBA with finance, master in economics or the master in commerce, MCOM. So these are the qualifications required for this post. So let's talk about the exam. That's why you are here students. So this is the exam pattern. 30 marks of English, 20 Quant, 20 Reasoning, 20 GA, uh, 30 Economics and Finance, 30 Insolvency Act. So I'm, I'm going to talk about all of these sections. So first of all, the English. In the English section students, we are going to find one reading comprehension, right? There will be one reading comprehension followed by para jumbles, synonyms, antonyms, sentence correction, close test. Very easy portion, very easy part. So if you are reading a newspaper every day, then you are covering the English section as well as the GA section, right? So let's move on to the quantitative aptitude. In the quantitative aptitude section, you are going to find one data interpretation set which uh, of five marks, which will be followed by the questions related to simplification, time and work, number series, averages, time and distance, profit and loss, simple and compound interest, partnership, easy one, easy easy. Then the reasoning, in the reasoning you are going to find either one puzzle or a uh, setting arrangement, a circular setting arrangement which would be followed by coding, decoding, inequalities, series, simple series, alphanumeric series, statements and assumptions, coding decoding data sufficiency so why you are here actually you are here to you know learn about these three topics how these three are going to be the general awareness this one is same as ibps po exams uh, this one is divided into two parts the first one is the static portion the second one is, is the current affairs so current affairs if you are reading the current affairs for last three four months that is sufficient for this exam for last four months that is sufficient for this exam but students you need to read the banking awareness also so the best study material for that see for we are preparing the study material for each of these sections and we are conducting regular classes and the details of regular classes are available in the description this is my number 9067201000 that is my personal number and the details of all of the the details of the classes and the study material in the test series is available in the description. So the best if you are not joining the course, the best study material for English is the Lucent's book. We are also preparing the notes. But for the grammar only, the Renan Martin is good. If you are reading a newspaper every day, then you don't need any book. For the quantitative aptitude, I personally recommend the Sarvesh Kumar Verma's book. For reasoning, there is no good book available in the market. For the general awareness section, we prepare RBI grade B GK digest every month. I'm going to talk about that later. But that part is actually very important. That capsule is very important. We started writing that capsule from December 2017 and that capsule is very, very useful for this exam, right? So let's talk about the general awareness section a little bit. Uh, so in that current affairs, there will be questions about awards and honors, various reports, the government schemes, right? The various cabinet ministries, who's a CM of which uh, state, simple question, uh, countries and capitals. So simple questions, whatever is there in the news, uh, that will be there in the general awareness section. So why you are here? You are here because of these two sections. So what you need to study for economics and finance, that is my forte. I teach that personally, the economic and the finance, we call it the economy and the financial sector awareness. So we can divide the economy and the financial sector awareness into roughly into four parts. The first one is the simple current affairs related to banking industry, the financial industry. That is the first part uh, in which you can cover the various reports, the various reports uh, published by the international organization. For example, the HDI, the Human Development Index report. Uh, 
published by the UNDP, very important, or the Union Budget released by the Government of India, or the Economic Survey, very important, the Ease of Doing Business Index, these are the important, you can say, reports, the Union Budget and Economic Survey is not international report, this is actually the Indian version, so these are actually very important portion for the economy and the financial awareness. Uh, then the RBI's notifications and circulars are very important. You need to read that. If you don't have time, you can just read the RBI Grade B GK Digest. We are analyzing and summarizing the RBI's notifications number one, the government schemes number two, and the current affairs number three. So the link to download the RBI Grade B, uh, RBI Grade B GK Digest is available in the description. We write it every month. The next important part, the third important part is the government schemes. The first one was the current affairs, including the reports. Actually, those were the two parts. And the second part was uh, the circulars or the notifications by RB. And the third part was the government schemes. Very important government schemes related to banking industry. Very important. So that was for the economy. For the finance students. For the finance, you should start with the derivatives. Very important. Money market, capital market, money market instruments, monetary policy, fiscal policy. Uh, then the basics of uh, financial statement analysis very important ratio analysis financial statement analysis very important topics for this exam uh, then the time value of money very important then the basal norms very important let me review that okay so these are the important topics right even the practicals are very important the capital budgeting very important so then let's move on to the this portion the insolvency act so the first of all the working and the procedures of ibbi is actually very important for this exam how ibbi works how ibbi manages and controls the professionals that is actually very important and then the insolvency and bankruptcy code amendments to this act very very important for this exam students this is the part number one and the part number two the working and the procedures and part number three the provisions of company act and the amendments of company act related to the insolvency rules so that is very important that this is a part number three and the part number four is the again notifications of rbi sebi cbdt so we are analyzing and summarizing all the notification of sebi rbi and cbdt the link to this month's capsule is available in the description please download that so students how to prepare for this exam so what is the best study material for this exam for this portion insolvency act the official website of ibbi.gov.in i think yeah the official website is very very useful very informative right for the finance and economy the huge books are available in the market but i personally recommend our notes available in our course, uh, we are doing a proper course for this exam. We have already prepared the classes for economy and finance. We have already prepared the classes for the English section. And we are preparing the general awareness notes every month. So in case you are a working professional and you don't have that much of time, you have just like one hour or two hours a day, right? Then this course is for you. You don't have that much of time, but you have those capabilities to crack this exam and you're looking for the exact study material. Then this course is for you. We are going to provide you the complete guidance. We are going to provide you the complete study material. We are going to provide you the exact test series and the video classes for this course. You can access all the classes, all the notes, and you can take the printouts of the notes from your dashboard, right? So that all the details uh, to the course are available in the description and in case you want to talk to me or any of the team members or you want to talk about any of these section if you want to talk about the finance and economy so i teach this portion finance and economy awareness economics awareness then you can directly call me 9067201000 in case you want to talk about any other section i'll you know transfer my calls to the other experts so that's all for today students if you have any kind of doubt you can directly call me anytime or drop a comment in the comment section please like this video and subscribe to bank exams today's channel for more useful study material the link to rbi grade b gk digest and rbi's notification circular the official website how to apply everything is available in the description so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye